How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Monero, and welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. It looks like we are a young child again as Jodie, in a chapter called Alone. And this is after her first horrifying night in this place. Oh, Iden's there. I don't to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. I don't think it's better. You son of a bitch. We'll come to see you whenever it's possible. Can I? When you're better, you'll join us in our new home. Okay? When you're better, huh? Here's a complete prick. I hate her father. Well, I think it's for the best. Oh, foster father. Goodbye, dear. <laughs> Trying to act like he cares in front of William to friend. We both know he doesn't give a shit. She does. She seems nice. I like her. Be brave, darling. I will. I know this is difficult. I'm sure it'll work out for you. So sad. You fucking assholes. I wanna I go. Wanna mess her dad up. Just give me a minute, Philip. Damn. Look at that booty. Mmm. Look at that booty. Oh, you! It's enough. Come on, you son of a bitch! Where is he? Oh, he's already gone. See ya. Oh. <laughs> I'll always be here for you. I really hope William Defoe turns out to be this kind of this nice guy character that he is so far the entire way through. I'd be really disappointed if he turned out to be anything else because you're so used to William Defoe being an evil bastard. Another Joe. So this is after. Mm, bro which one was broken? Homeless. Oh, broken was the chapter where she woke up in the hospital, I think. So this is after that. But still before the prologue. And we're in the middle of the friggin' desert. Beautiful. Her hair's growing back a little bit. Yeah. I'm totally exhausted <laughs> and thirsty, and I have no clue where we fucking are. So just play nice and give me a break, okay? Aww. Poor Arden. Screw that. Walking through the desert. Hey, this cacti. Oh, there's a little house over there, a farm or something? Can we head that way? No, apparently not. Maybe we could become a farmer. Live a peaceful life out here where no one knows who we are. Hello? I see how it is. Friggin' arsehole. Wouldn't even stop for her. Sounds like maybe there's another car coming. Possibly. Well, that's my imagine. Yep. Pull over. Excuse me. You probably don't want to be picked up by a trucker. We all know the, the stories about them. Had enough? Everything's gonna be okay. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Dying of thirst and a 
everything's fucked. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yeah, be totally fine. Leave me alone, Aiden. Poor Aiden. What? Now oh, finally she notices. I noticed that bomb ages ago. Like I said, we can live our life as a farmer. It'll be wonderful. It's okay, Aiden. There's no reason to be nervous. Am I going to go on some trippy dream here? There's a horse over there. It appears to be sheep. It doesn't look like there's people. With that music, I feel like I'm going to go on some kind of spirit walk or something. Go in there? Nope. Let's go see the horse. He was chilling out over here. How you doing, buddy? Can I ride you? Yes, you. Oh, there's two of them. Who the fuck lives out in places like this? Seriously. Okay. Maybe head into the barn, get out of the friggin' heat. Oh, there's a water pump. Oh, is that the house? Yes, it is. I completely walk past the house. There's a dog. Hey, Pooch. How you doing? Hey, hey, calm down. Back off there. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm sorry. I think that maybe the animals react negatively towards her, especially dogs, because they can sense Iden. In the hunted part, it seemed like the dog could sense Iden. Anyone home? I can hear someone. Hey, I'm so sorry to disturb you. I'm just looking for some place to spend the night, and and I was hoping. That... You can't stay here. Sorry. What about the barn? Can I just? Can I just spend the night in your barn? Please. I, I mean, I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. You need to leave now. <laughs> Ah, oh, they're Native American. It's like, why is some hunky young guy living out here by himself? <laughs> I'm ruggedly good looking. Yeah. I'm... Okay. You can stay here tonight. Thanks. I'm in. Well, there seems to be quite a few people in there, actually. What's your name? Are we gonna lie? Jody. Oh no. I'm Paul. These are my sons, Corey and Jay. My mother, Shimasani. Nice to meet Don't you. Don't be surprised if she doesn't answer you. She hasn't spoken in years. She looks like a dried up old We're prone. We're going to have dinner. Would you like to eat with us? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. Wonderful. Where can I put my bag? On the floor? Cool. Uh, what do I want to eat here? Is that some steak or something? Oh, fuck yeah. That looks good. Hopefully it's horse meat. And... Bur tar what are those things? Tacos or burritos? Or just bread? Good conversation we're having. <laughs> this is the most awkward dinner ever. No one's talking. The grandmother's just sitting there looking attractive. And they're eyeing me off. Oh, this is horrible. So dry. There aren't any hitchhikers out here. Can I ask where you're headed? Uh, are they? No, I forgot. I, um, I... Oh, I'm meeting. Um, I'm gonna meet some friends. They're uh, they're just up the road, always. So. I see. I didn't mean to lie. I meant to evade the question. Um, alone. This is the uh, 
first ranch that I've seen in, in miles. Mm. There used to be more of us. Many have left for the city. It's a hard life out here. Fair enough. Do you breed horses? Yeah. Mustangs. We also have a bunch of churros. Churros? Sheep. Ah. Oh, I was, I was wondering what churros were, too. Milk. It's not much, but it keeps us alive. Okay. Ranch. Things are really far from everything here. Hmm. My family's lived here for generations. I was born here. I'll probably die here. I tell my boys to go. I know there's nothing for them here. But, uh, they want to stay with their grandmother and me, so. Sounds windy out there. What's going on? What's going on? Something doesn't seem right. Is it just a bad storm or is it something sinister? Hey. Are you coming? Brooding handsome young man. Yeah, I'm coming. Calm down. Where'd he go? Oh, not that way. That's a dead end. Where are you? There you are. And that music, like, kicking in, too. Is this gonna turn south? Are they gonna try to eat me or something? You stay in your room. No matter what you hear. What I hear? What do you mean? You value your life. Lock your door and don't come out until the morning. The fuck? Are they werewolves or something? What is going on? Little bit scared. Damn, girl, you ain't bashful. Ah, now we're ready for bed. Look at that booty, damn. Look at that booty. Okay, let's uh, let's just hop into bed. Don't worry about anything we hear. Just go to sleep. Not a problem. I don't want to turn the light off, it's going to be too dark. I know. It's a very strange place. Yes, it is. Don't worry. Tomorrow will be a long way from here. Good night, Aiden. Good night. Time for Betty Buys. is going on <laughs> Okay I'm utterly creeped out Do I can I just peek outside or something Wash itself. Good. Wake you up a little bit. What was that? It was something else. What's this? Huh? Ashes. Ash. Are they vampires? <laughs> yeah, don't do it. God, I'm so scared. This is freaky and weird. <laughs> Like I said in one of the previous parts about David Cage games, if you ever played any of his games like Fahrenheit or Heavy Rain or um, Omicron, they always just get batshit crazy. I mean, Heavy Rain wasn't too bad, but yeah. What's going on? 
She just cut herself off. That wasn't me. Yeah, halfway through the game, it's like they just throw it out the window and just go mental. Nothing over this side of the room. Okay. Doesn't seem like I can do much else, maybe. Just hop back in bed, I guess. I don't, I don't think I'd be able to sleep, honestly. <laughs> That'd be me. There's nothing bad out there. There's nothing bad out there. I'll be okay. We survived the night. And whatever the fuck was going on during it. Up you get lazy bones. Can't be lounging around in bed all day. Put some clothes on maybe. Or some pants at least. Hmm? What the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> Maybe they've got like spirits from the other side haunting them or something. I don't know, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. Time to leave. This creepy place. Is that, well, can I go in here? Hello? Anyone in here? There's these hanging in each of the rooms too. Maybe they're meant to ward the ba evil spirits off. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Oh, th this way. Yeah, they're all over the place. Those things hanging on the walls. You looked exhausted. Oh, is that why you? Should... The boys let you sleep. Thank you. Thanks. I... I really needed it. Um, I'm going now, I guess. Some coffee. Oh, where? I could do with some coffee. There we go. Thank you very much. Have a sip of that. Get our energy. Get ready for the day. Heading out into the wide desert again. Just keep drinking this. Until she's shaky. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your hospitality, Chief Running Bear. I am gone now. Goodbye. I'm gonna hit the road. Thank you. There's a lot of work to be done on the farm. Maybe you'd like to stay on for a few days. Lend a helping hand. Couldn't pay you anything, but uh, you have a roof, food on the table. What do you think? Could be a good deal. I said I wouldn't mind to live a life yeah. on the farm. <laughs> Find some more clothes in Corey's room. See you outside. Hell yeah, we get to be a farmer. <laughs> some badass clothes. Ready for work? Hmm. Ready when you are. The sheep need water. Think you can handle that? Yeah. Sure. So what do you? What do I look like? An invalid? Oh, hey, Granny. How you doing? That dog still not like me. Uh, he seems alright. I'm okay by him now. Ah, uh, pump that water. Yeah. <laughs> water pumping simulator. Someone get on it. I'd play it. Alright, I'm going. Fuck deserts. Honestly, why would you live in a desert? Just move somewhere else. What are you guys doing? So, you're gonna stay a while? Yeah. It looks that way. Great. What, what am I doing? I mean, it's good to have some help. Oh. There we go. Thanks, Judy. Now Can what? You get some hay from the barn. 
Not a problem. I'm a farmer. <laughs> the younger brother seems to like her a little bit. And the older gruff hand Whoa! Calm down. No need to run. Wear yourself out early. Hello. How are you? Can I put a blanket on her or something? Hi. You old crow. My name is Jody and, and I'm I'm gonna stay here for a little bit and help out. I hope that you don't mind. Hmm. This is beautiful. Did you make this yourself? She creeps me out. Yeah, let's just uh, leave her alone now. She's freaking me out a little bit. Let's get that hay. There's the barn. Looks beautiful though. I mean, as desolate as the desert is, it does look pretty nice. Where is the barn? Oh, it's all the way up there. What do you think I am, Superman? She's not very big. Oh, there's a motorbike there. Take that out for a spin. Okay. We can do it. Help me, Aiden. Oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's do it, Aiden. Take it easy, Aiden. <laughs> Just one bail, not the whole goddamn vista. <laughs> okay. We got it. What are they doing? Having a siesta? Wait, that's Mexican. My bad. What am I doing with this? Where do you need it? Hey, Jody! Lunch? Okay, L let me just finish this first. Oh, they're burning dead animals over there. Huh. Like I said, something is clearly really fucking wrong here. <laughs> Here you go. Put it down anywhere. Uh, Thanks, Jody. You're welcome. Enjoy sheep. It's lunchtime. Go and join the boys if you're hungry. You coming? Later. I still have work to do. <laughs> okay, later then. Time to get some grub. After a hard day's work on the farm. So what's for lunch, boys? What do we have in here? Have a seat. Thanks. There's a lot of work to do on the ranch. Yeah. Jay takes care of the horses. I watch the churros and my father does just about everything else. Can we ask what the fuck happened last night? Are there other Navajo ranches around here? There used to be about 50 some years back, but now there's just us. The others got scared off. The others decided to go live in the city. Not everyone wants to live in the desert. This is true. <laughs> what about this old bitch? I saw the dead sheep. Coyotes? What happened to them? A storm. They wander out of the pen and choke to death on the sand. Uh, one of them had its like side ripped open. <laughs> Don't think that's choking. What were those noises last night? It sounded like something was banging on on the house. And... That's just the wind. They make strange sounds in the desert. Do you always ask so many questions? When I don't understand something, <laughs> yeah. Yeah? How about if I started asking you questions? Where you come from? What you doing here? You probably wouldn't like it, huh? So keep your secrets to yourself. And don't ask any more questions. <laughs> Told you he was the brooding son. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I got work to do. 
See you later, asshole. Eh, don't mind him, Jody. He's okay when you get to know him. I'll bet. <laughs> I guess I better get back to it or Paul will get mad. <laughs> See you later. So. <laughs> well done, Jody. Alright guys, so I'm going to have to go ahead and end this episode here. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already to see more content that I've done, and I'll catch you for whatever I make next. Bye.